This video is designed to explain how to use your calculator to make a box and whisker plot. We are using the data we collected on the day of the month that we were born, the specific date. So the first step is to turn your calculator on and hit the Y equal button. Make sure you don't have any equations. You can turn the plots off by going up to the highlighted plots and hitting enter. So those are turned off. And then we're going to enter our data points using stat edit. And we have to make a space for our data points. So having my cursor up in the label spot, I'm going to second delete, which inserts a blank column. And I'm going to call it B-Day for our birthday. And now I am going to enter the data that we collected in class on our birth dates. Somebody read those to me? All right, there's also a 24 in the data set, so we'll add that in. Liam gave me those data points in ascending order, so we'll just have to stick the 24. Actually, we can use our calculators to go up to the 23. Actually, I think I want the 26, and if I do a second delete there, it adds a spot so I can put the 24 in. And you should have 22 numbers in your data set. Now, to check to see if we entered our data correctly, we're going to hit second quit. And we're going to do stat calculate one variable statistics on our B day list. So it's second stat alpha B. And let's check to see if we all have the same statistics. 16.18 repeating for the mean. After we do one var statistics, we are going to hit, so it's stat calculate one variable statistics, we're going to hit second list alpha B to get our birthday list. So you have to enter the list. If you don't enter a list there, it defaults to L1, just so you know that. Okay, so that is, um, those are our statistics for us, and I'm going to copy those onto the page so we can use them for reference later. And I will take the second page as well. The second page is actually what the calculator does to create the box plot. So when we, the next thing we're going to do is create the box plot. The calculator actually asks its secretary to do the one variable statistics, so it has all of those on the second screen to do the box plot. Okay, to graph the box plot, we're going to hit second y equal, turn on plot one. There are two box plot icons. The first one is the modified, which I would like you to always use, and the second one is the non-modified, so it does not show the outliers. We'd like to use the first one. The list I'm going to use is B day, so second list alpha B. And we're going to you have a frequency of one. I didn't press enter for that icon. I like to use either the box or the plus sign to represent outliers because the little dot is hard to see. And what do we press next to get the graph to appear on our screen? Zoom 9. You can just hit graph, but then the screen might not be picking something very nice. So it appears that we do not have any outliers. 
Is that what you had for your work? All right. So if I was putting this on as a homework problem, I would title it. And to get my scale on my graph, I hit window. And that lets me know that I'm going from a negative 0.5 over to 29.5. So this would be date, date of the day. date of your birthday. And we don't really have a y-axis scale because this is really only, I mean, we do because you could fit actually three box plots into that. But this lets me know, looking at this, you should be able to say this is fairly symmetric because the whisker length from here to here from the first quartile is relatively equal to I mean, not perfectly equal, but it's semi-equal to the second quartile. It's a tiny bit longer than the third, and it is longer than the last. So if it has any skew at all, do you know which direction it would be skewed in? It would be slightly skewed to the left, and we can see that with the histogram, which we'll plot here in just a moment. Um, but overall, it's fairly symmetric. We could use the mean and the standard deviation to analyze the data. And I know that also because if you check out the median value versus the mean value, they are almost identical. The mean is a little bit less than the median, 16.18 versus 17.5. And that's not surprising because we said that this is slightly skewed to the left, which is the lower values. All right, we're going to do a double plot next. So here we go. We're going to leave plot one on and do y equals and go to plot two. Turn that one on and choose histogram and the same list, birthday, b-day. And with both of the plots being on, when you hit zoom nine, it will give you the double plot of the box plot on top and the histogram underneath. It looks something like this. And so you can, I guess it, it almost doesn't really have any skew. And that is how the box plots match up with the histograms. It's a nice feature to have on the calculator.